Come on and worship God with me this morning. Come on, lift your hands and sing it. Here I am. Here I am. God, with arms wide open. We love you this morning with everything in us. Pouring out, pouring out my life gracefully broken. We love you this morning. Here I am. Here I am, God, with arms wide open, pouring out my life because I love you, Jesus. I'm pouring out my life gracefully broken. We love you this morning with everything in us, God. We love you with everything in us, our whole hearts minds, our soul, our bodies, and our strength. Minister to your people on this morning. Bring strength. Bring encouragement. Help them to understand that you know exactly what's going on in their lives at this exact moment. That you're not ignoring them, but you have a plan. And all things about to work together in their lives for good because they love you and they're called according to your purpose strengthen your people on this morning lift him up this morning God in the name of Jesus pouring out pouring out my life gracefully broken come on and sing it here I am God here I am here I am, God, with arms wide open, pouring out my life, Jesus, because I love you. I'm pouring out my life, gracefully broken. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Come on, just love on them. Lift your hands to heaven and just, just love on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords right now. Come on, just magnify him. Open your mouth and just love on him. We serve a good God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. It's here, the book we've been waiting for. Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us. A complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Praise God, Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift your people up before you right now. Minister to them. Strengthen them. Encourage them. Let the word of God come alive in their spirits, in their hearts, and in their minds. Bring peace, bring comfort, bring joy, bring direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say, Amen. Praise God. Good morning to you, saints of the Most High God. On this morning, I'm talking about God is turning it around for you. My God, if that wasn't a turnaround, what can we say? What else can we call it? On yesterday, as we close with, in chapter 6 of the book of Esther, and we saw how God began to elevate Haman. Uh, I mean, we see how God began to elevate Mordecai totally above the wicked plots 
of Haman and we continue in chapter 7 on this morning God is turning it around I tell you I just love the word of God so watch this chapter 7 verse 1 so the king and Haman went to Queen Esther's banquet on this second occasion while they were drinking wine the king again said to Esther Tell me what you want, Queen Esther. What is your request? And I will give it to you even if it is half of the kingdom. This woman is whining and dining her husband. She's just being a good wife, showing honor to him. You know, a lot of people are so quick to ask without showing honor. Man, at least show some honor first before you ask your request. Come on, somebody. It's wisdom, and we see this wisdom being displayed from Esther. She's showing her husband's honor. She's making it real hard for this man to say no oh boy some ladies are getting some wise ideas right about now I don't blame you watch this so verse 3 Queen Esther replied if I have found favor with the king and if it pleases the king to grant my request I ask that my life and the lives of my people will be spared oh she's about to get right down to the nitty gritty here Old Haman is sitting across the table, chomping on that piece of steak. But boy, he, he, he's eating for his last time. He's eating his last meal. He don't know what's coming for him. Now watch this. And then verse 4. For my people and I have been sold to those who would kill, slaughter, and annihilate us. If we had merely been sold as slaves, I could remain quiet, for that would be too trivial a matter to warrant disturbing the king. Who would do such a thing? King Xerxes demanded. Who would be so presumptuous as to touch you, my wife, the queen in this kingdom? Oh, by this time, Haman is about to start shaking in his boots. Watch this. Esther replied, this wicked Haman is our adversary and our enemy. Haman grew pale with fright before the king and queen. You see, this is, listen, God's turning it around. See, it was it was Mordecai and Esther who was fretting and sweating and trembling in their boots. But oh, God answered their prayer, and the table has totally turned. The pendulum have swung to the other side of the clock. Now it's old Haman shaking in his boots. My God, you better be careful what you do with God's people, because the trap that you dig you will fall in it yourself now watch this then the king jumped to his feet in a rage oh this is bad news and went out into the palace garden Haman however stayed behind to plead for his life with Queen Esther you see this Queen Esther those pleaded for their life with God are you, are you watching this? And now God flipped the script. He turned the tables completely upside down. And now it's Haman begging Esther for his life. Ooh, doesn't God know how to bring it? Doesn't God know how to do it? This is why he says vengeance is mine. I will repay. Oh, people treating you nasty and they think they're getting away with it. I got news for them. God's right up there watching what's going on and at the right time time God's gonna settle it glory to God watch this now my God my God so Haman went and stayed behind to plead for his life with Queen Esther for he knew that the king intended to kill him now everything Mordecai and the Jews were feeling when they were weeping and crying now Haman is feeling it Wow, look at how God set up the fight for the seed of Abraham, his chosen people. My God, my God, my God. Verse 8, in, des in despair, he fell on the couch where Esther was reclining, just as the king was returning from the palace garden. Now, you know this man is set up real good. You falling on my couch, close to my wife. Anyway, let me get back to this story here. <laughs> I got to stay in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Glory to God. Some of you guys would have finished him up right there. <laughs> Okay, come on, let's 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 get back. Let, let, let's keep it spiritual here. Amen. No, no, watch this. So so the king, when he returned, more, I mean Haman is falling on the couch where Esther was, and the king explain the king exclaimed, Will he even assault the queen right in the palace before my very eyes? 
Oh, it's over for it's o- it's over for Haman. Game over. And as soon as the king spoke, his attendants covered Haman's face, signaling his doom. My God, my God, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm? No weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. Then Habona, one of the king's eunuchs, said, Haman has set up a sharpened pole that stands 75 feet tall in his own courtyard. He intended to use it to impale Mordecai the man who saved the king from assassination. The king said, impale Haman on it. Get rid of him. So they impale Haman on the pole. He set up for Mordecai and the king's anger was subdued. God is turning it around for you. The same gallows he built, hoping to get rid of Mordecai. He was hung on his own gallows. The sword Goliath intended to use to kill David. David used the sword to take his head right off. The weapon might be formed, but it certainly will not prosper. God is turning it around for you. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We serve a mighty God, and he deserves all the praise, the glory, and the honor. To support the kingdom of God and the preaching of the gospel, you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries you can also give through the ministry zell account our zell email address is info at seanpinder.net info at seanpinder.net you can also give through the ministry cash app account that address is the dollar sign sean pinder ministries the dollar sign sean pinder ministries you can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to sean pinder ministries p.o box 2726 mckinney texas 75070. If you didn't have a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button right now so you can receive all of the notifications for our live broadcasts and our daily uploads. We love you. That's coming from me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love all of you so much. We appreciate you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you now. Take care. Bye bye.